bitch in the last video that I tried to film um, doing my brows and I promised that I would upload today so I'm going to do my best to film this video up um, edit it upload it and have all my tags and everything in it by the end of the day which if you are a um, content creator you know that is a stretch but I'm gonna do my best um, also the um, the way I did my brows uh, didn't quite turn out I was in a hurry you know stuff was happening in between takes and stuff like that so it's just it wasn't working out to my favor <laughs> so today I'm gonna try to take my time and get it done right and get the best result for you guys I have not made up my bed just excuse the mess behind me life happens if you're a mom you know if you're a busy worker you know if you're a female you know it just life happens okay so we deal with it but anyway, enough rambling. Let's get on to the video. Okay, so to start things off, what I use is the Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter. This is actually just a little sample that I got from um, my Ipsy bag, but this is what I use to start things off. I take the little one, it's clear, and I just shuffle it through my brows. Okay, so I'm just getting this liquid in my brows. Okay. Then I go back in with the brow pencil from Then I go back in with the brow pencil from Unique. It's the Mood Struck Sculpt and Style brow pencil, which is this, but I'm using the brush at the end of it. So that's what I'm going to use to comb through my brows. And I want to pull everything up. All the brow hairs, I want to pull them upward in the way that they grow. The natural growth of the brow. So see how that makes them a little bit more groomed and bushy. That's what we're wanting right now. Okay get them all straight and comb through. Okay, then I'm going to take the LEJ Beauty Brow Soap and the little spoolie that comes with it. And I'm going to run that through the soap. And then I'm going to run that through my brows as well really pull in those brows upward. Okay. And then I just take the little brush from the other one and just kind of comb the flyaways down just like that and then we're ready for our brow color so for my brows right now I'm about in the shade enthralled in the palette 6 um, you can get your brow shade in any palette um, the brow palette from Unique if you have that it would be this shade right here um, I'm not quite in the dark right now because my hair is so light. You can see my roots are darker, but the um, the brow sculpting pencil that I got, I got it in dark, and right now it's just a little too dark. So that's why I'm not using that end of that. Okay, so I'm getting my applicator, which is going to be the Kat Von D brow brush. It's sharp and pointy, and it's really precise, so I'm cleaning it up a little bit. As you can see right there going into that color I'm going to start at the base of my brow and just follow the natural brow line we've really got everything pushed up and we've really got everything precise so now we know where our lines are and we can follow those to the T so I'm going up at an angle all the way up to that arch 
Then I'm going to go in the front and I'm going to start about a third of the way in on the top. And then I'm going to go a little bit up, right above the arch. Not quite that high. And then come back down at an angle, following that arch. I like to have a really high arch, so that's why I go a little bit above it and we just fill it in. And we can correct this with concealer, don't worry. We're not that far yet. And then I'm going to follow that and connect the line. Just connect right to where you were. And like I said, we can sharpen that up and correct it later. Then we're going to take and fill in just a little bit of the brow, because basically we've got everything. I'm just going to fill in the gaps. I usually put some product in there and then I brush the brows up. Then once I get towards the front of the brow, I just simply take my brush, kind of go back and forth and up like that. And then I grab just a dab, just a dab of the product. just a little bit more you can add it but you want this softer than the rest of the brow and then I've got a bump or a mole in that brow so I like to go in there and draw a hair streak over him just to cover him up okay so see how the front of the brow is a little bit softer and later when I do my makeup I put a little bit of powder on the front of it also to tame that but just make sure all your brow hairs are covered and then to make it a little bit more squared off I just add a couple of hairs in the front just like that okay then it's time to clean them up so then I pull out my mineral touch not mineral touch unique touch skin solution concealer right here comparable to Tarte Shape Tape Everything is just falling right out of my hands. Then I just grab a little concealer brush, the Unique Cream Shadow Brush, which works just as good. It's the same kind of brush. Unique Cream Shadow Brush, concealer, and you go to that line, and you keep the brush straight. Make sure it's spread out and straight, and you just go right underneath that line there. Then when you get to the arch, you want to go over and down at an angle to sharpen that tail. And then I go on the other side of the tail and finish sharpening that up. Connect those two. Then I go up to the top of the brow. Notice I didn't grab any more product. I'm using what's left on the top. And just define that arch and connect it to the tail. Then I go up here in the front, define the beginning of the brow, and then I just kind of sweep a little bit over the top of these. Didn't pick up any more product, I'm just sweeping it over top of these just to lighten those up some. And then I pull down on what's left up here, and I usually go in and prime my lids with what's left and grab some more as needed. And then I blend it in with concealer brush like this it's got a tapered edge it's shaped like this so I go in and just blend it in and like I said I'll usually prime my lids at this point go over the top go over the arch go over the tail blend everything in so now you've got your brow and then to set, which we've already got the setting um, benefit stuff in, but then I close my eye, 
and I spray two or three squirts on the brow itself and let it dry and then I move on to the second brow so that is how I'm doing my brows currently that is my current brow routine if you have any questions suggestions comments anything like that or request for new things to learn or new makeup tricks hacks or you just want to see a look then leave those in the comments below and once again thank you so much for watching and supporting me and make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave I'll see you in my next video love you guys bye